It's time for Investigation Ouch, and welcome to Manchester City Centre. Have you ever wondered what all this activity does to the air you breathe in? Well, I'm about to find out. I'm going to need some snot. I'll be collecting snot from the city and the seaside to see what these two different environments throw at our lungs every time we breathe in. <laughs> Meet Dr Kelly Barube. She's an expert on air pollution at Cardiff University, and I've got a challenge for her. So, Kelly, I have taken nasal swabs from the city and from the seaside. OK. Now, I want you to tell me which is which. It's not going to be a problem, Chris. Easy peasy. Really? Yeah. Kelly's putting each sample under her microscope to see what's in it and work out where it's from. This sample is going into seaside pile. I'm saying that that's going to be city. Let's have a count up and see how she did. That's correct. Correct. That's correct. 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 How were you able to do that so easily? Well, I started off with the fact that um, cities have more pollution. The ones that had the more soot on them, I put them in the city pile. And the ones that didn't, I put them on the seaside. You've got snot up your nose and liquidy mucus all the way down your airways into your lungs, where they trap pollution particles. And this is where mucus is brilliant. It actually helps your body get rid of those particles. But if it's bombarded with too much pollution, it can't cope as we're going to show you. This is a scanning electron microscope. It's one of the most powerful microscopes in the world, and to replace it would cost almost a million pounds. It's expensive because it can magnify up to two million times more than a normal microscope. Each of these metal tubes contains little samples of lung tissue, and you're about to see them close up on this awesome bit of kit. Actually, what what are we looking at here? What's this? Uh, this is the surface of the lung, and we have these cilia. These are little hairs, and they move mucus and debris out. So basically, all the way through the air tubes, from our nose down into our lungs, we have these what look like hairs, and they move in time and shift mucus that's trapped, stuff we don't want in our lungs, yep. back up out so we can cough it out or spit yeah, it. Yeah, clean or, our lungs so we can breathe better. Or pick it. Yes. So that was a healthy lung, this is an extremely diseased lung. This person has been breathing in dirty industrial air 24-7 over a very long period of time. The cilia are destroyed, and that's a particle of diesel. Remember we saw the, the, um, the cilia? Well, here, they've all collapsed. So it looks like, like almost a, a field of grass where all the blades of grass have been flattened. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, yes. And so yep. if those cilia are flattened, they can no longer move the mucus nope. back up yep, nope. and, and you can get rid of yeah. stuff. Yeah, so now that stuff is stuck in there. But that was a lung under extreme dirty conditions. So although the air from our cities is more polluted than the air by the seaside, you shouldn't worry too much because the mucus in your lungs traps the pollution. It then gets wafted up by the cilia in our airways and you can cough it up or blow it out your nose. Proving your body is brilliant at cleaning its airways and that's whether you live by the sea or in the city. 